I'm going to show you how to clean out your embroidery machine to keep it running sweetly something you should do regularly for this I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol some kitchen towel some cotton buds some fishing line or if you haven't got any fishing line some very thick strong um, cotton You're going to unplug your embroidery machine before you start. Take a cotton bud, dip it into your rubbing alcohol, cleaning alcohol, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. And then you're going to blot it on the kitchen towel because we want it damp, not saturated. Then we're going to clean out the um, race with this. We're going to start off by removing the cover here and our bobbin then this plate pulls back and comes off Oops. and then we can remove the bobbin casing which is this plastic bit here and it just pulls out and that now exposes the what I call the bobbin race I don't know if that's the correct uh, term for it I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below. So now we can start cleaning this. Take your damp cotton bud and you're going to run it around inside here to pick up all the loose debris. Can you see that? It's pretty gross, isn't it? <laughs> and you just need to repeat dampening your cotton bud and keep wiping it around several times see that bit of thread there that would cause bother and stitching problems if i didn't remove it and the reason why we use rubbing alcohol is because it doesn't leave any moisture in your machine so i'm just gonna keep doing this until it's clean Let's swap hands here <laughs> And you can see how much dirt and build up there is after you've used your machine. Oh, another piece. And when your cotton bud comes away white, you know that it's clean. So that's all nice and clean there now and we can remove some of the debris around the knife this is where the knife comes across to cut your thread and that can get a bit gunked up as well with threads and fluff so that's the bottom done I'm just going to make sure that the bobbin holder for want of a better word is clean as well as you can see there's a little bit of thread here and that gets jammed in the little um i don't know what you call it. it it's what tensions the thread as it comes through the the bobbin holder so i just pull that out and i i can also clean this with a little bit of alcohol too just to make sure that it's lint free so a little bit of cotton uh, little bit of alcohol on the cotton bud and then just wipe it around and that's now clean and can go back in the machine check under here that there isn't any um, fluff build up as well because it's a bit like dust and it can stick if it has then just wipe it over with some rubbing alcohol And that's now nice and clean too. So now we're going to reassemble this area. We're going to start off by putting the bobbin housing back in. You'll notice that there's a white dot here and there's a white dot on my machine there. Those two have to align up 
and I'm sorry if my hand gets in the way here and I now know that that's in the correct position then I can replace the cover load my bobbin make sure which way the thread is supposed to come off for your particular machine with mine it comes off like a P rather than like a Q if I put it in that way it will cause me a bird's nest so I'm going to place that back in there pop my cover back on and we're now going to do the top So you're now going to take your fishing line or your thick thread and you're going to hold the end up here and you're going to thread your machine as you would normally but without going through the needle. We'll go through the little bar here but not the actual needle itself. So I'm going to thread that. I'm sorry if my arm gets in the way. So I'm now holding on to this and up here as well and I've got it quite taut and then we're just going to pull the thread keeping a little bit of resistance up the top here through our machine and you need about a metre a yard for this and just pull it right the way through you can do that a couple of times and that should clean out any debris that's trapped between the tension plates or tension discs, whatever they are. I'm not very good with machine parts. And that's all the dirt that came out of the bobbin race there. It's pretty gross. <laughs> but if you keep this clean, you will prevent any stitching problems. So I like to do this every couple of times I use my machine and I also get my machine serviced once a year as well. So that keeps it all running sweet. I'm just going to vacuum up all the little bits that came out. If you're interested in my little vacuum cleaner, I got it off of Amazon. It's a desktop cleaner and they're very inexpensive but very very handy. I hope you enjoyed this clean up video. If you did please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to my supplies in the video description below along with other things such as discount codes as well. Take care and I'll see you next time.